guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite backpacking foods that I ate during the summer backpacking season. If you are new here, welcome. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you are interested in content like that, make sure to click that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you want more content from me, you can go ahead and support me over on Patreon. For as little as $1, you will get two to three extra videos a month. So I tried some awesome new foods this past backpacking season and I really, really fell in love with some of these new backpacking foods that I ate. And for breakfast, everyone should know by now that CS coffee is my favorite coffee. Whether it be on trail or at home, this is the best instant coffee in the world. So today I'm having outdoor herbivore apple quinoa oatmeal. It looks beautiful. So you can see here real apple chunks, sunflower seeds, almonds, oats. Amazing. Mm. Absolutely delicious. It's not super sweet, so if you like a super sweet oatmeal, maybe bring a brown sugar packet or honey or something, but mm, delicious. Today I am having outdoor herbivore blueberry maple crunch. It has blueberries, almonds, looks so delicious. Yum, yum. I love this meal. I've had this before. Today for breakfast, I'm having a wild Zora coconut berry. It's really delicious. This is what it looks like in here. So we have blueberries, strawberries, and flax meal. So it's a little bit, it's not like oatmeal. It's a little bit more like mushy, but it's really filling. Flax meal is really filling. And coconut chips. What else? Fretted coconut walnuts, mango, sea salt, and vanilla bean. It's absolutely delicious and super filling. Wild Zora makes paleo meals, which is awesome. And this one has 11 grams of protein, a nice hearty breakfast. And yeah, absolutely love it. It's my first time trying it. I'm very, very pleased. And I love breakfasts that you can just pour water in the bag and then you don't have to wash anything. This morning I'm having stowaway gourmet spiced creamy oatmeal with pear. Looks delicious. So there we have some of the oat clumps, creamy clumps. Looks delicious. Stowaway gourmet. Could have added a little less water than they call for. A little bit soupy, but it has been sitting for the correct amount of time. There's pear chunks. I will say because it is coconut cream, it is super, super rich. Half a pouch is 290 calories. So I should have looked at that beforehand. I could have split this up into two meals. There's no way I'm going to eat all of this because it is super rich. So I would split it up into two, maybe share it with somebody, or I'm just put it in a Ziploc bag, keep it for the next day to rehydrate. Um, but it's really good. It's just rich. It's good, and the time it tells you to sit, it does rehydrate fully. And we're at like 6,200 feet, so it's appropriate timing. Very good, I enjoy. So outdoor herbivore pinhoti pinto queso is by far one of our favorite lunches because we can split it um, between the both of us and it's for the perfect amount for lunch. It is so good cold. Um, and all you have to do is take a tortilla 
put some water in your Pinhoti Pinto Queso, I'll spread it on there, and it literally makes the best lunch ever. Outdoor Herbivore wins the lunch game for sure. Also from Outdoor Herbivore, Switchback Burrito Stuffer and Naked Freckle Burrito are super delicious as well. Red bars are my absolute favorite snack that I eat. I eat them every single day. They have a bunch of different flavors. My favorite flavor is the mint chocolate, but honestly, all of them are absolutely delicious. They are vegan, plant-based foods, four grams of sugar, eight grams of fiber, and each bar has 210 calories with 100 calories from fat. This will keep you full for so long, and what I love about it, uh, because it's plant-based protein and plant-based energies and sugars, this makes the energy that comes from this really, really good burning energy, and you don't crash. It's not like the sugar energy you get from, um, like, let's say, Cliff Bars or something like that. You will definitely notice the difference. There's no no crash from these at all. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend. Okay, I'm about to eat some of my favorite snacks from Wild Zora. We have this real fruit. It's just dried fruit. I'll show you here in a second. Orange figs and pear. And then my favorite thing is this Wild Zora meat and veggie bar. It's hard to describe. It's not like jerky it's so it's not hot like that dry and hard it's more kind of like a patty because there's veggies in it so it's very moist and the flavors they have are just phenomenal this one is rosemary i've had some of the other ones too and they are so delicious great snack um 120 calories it's three o'clock now and we got to camp so we're obviously not going to eat until like 5 30 or 6 so I need a little something. And then this fruit. Okay, so this is what the fruit looks like. We have like legit sliced pear. You can see the oranges in there. And then this is what the uh, veggie and meat stick looks like. It's so good. I unfortunately just dropped these on the ground, but I'm gonna eat them anyway, cause that's what Hiker Trash does. Another snack that I've really loved for backpacking is the Outdoor Herbivore Ginger Berry Fusion. It's super delicious and it has dried cranberries, almonds, sunflower seeds. Oh, it has walnuts in it too, but the coconut chips are like doused in turmeric, which is super delicious. It has crystallized ginger. I mean, the energy I get from this is super great. I'm usually not a fan of trail mix type snacks just because there's usually like one or two items in the trail mix that I don't like, but this is like the perfect ratio of everything that I love and I highly recommend. The chicken curry dish I had from Wild Zora was really good, except I added just a tad too much water, so it was a bit soupy. The large chicken and pineapple chunks rehydrated nicely, and the flavor of this meal was awesome. My only complaint was that it wasn't as calorie-packed as most other backpacking dinners. Because it is paleo, it doesn't have rice or pasta in it, which generally adds a ton of calories. I ate this meal on the first day of my long backpacking trip, and we only hiked four and a half miles, so it was plenty for me on that day. However, next time I think I will take some instant rice. Okay, so my jambalaya is ready, as you see here. It is phenomenal. Gourmet. Like, seriously gourmet food. Fantastic. It's literally gourmet. The gourmet is in their name for a reason. <laughs> It's for a good reason because it's literally like food you would get at a high-class restaurant. I don't know. I, I don't know how else to put it. It's fantastic. The shrimp is so good. Plump and juicy. <laughs> and just, I mean, it's the best thing you could probably eat on a, on a trail. I also tried their Thai curry with shrimp as well as their pasta dish and both were high class restaurant quality. I don't know how they do it. It's freaking amazing. I mean, I would eat this at home. Like, I don't say that about any backpacking food, 
Like, I want to eat this at home. Yeah, it tastes good on trail because you're starving. I will put this and pretend, like on a plate, pretend I cooked it for my husband and he would be like, oh my god, you're the best cook ever. <laughs> so after that, all that, <laughs> get yourself some stowaway gourmet because it's fantastic. 10 out of 5 stars. Delicious. So for dessert when I go backpacking, I always have these organic Ocho bars. They have a few, like three or four different flavors and they are so good. Look at this one, it's so gooey, delicious chocolate. It's an extra like 210 calories, which is fantastic when you're backpacking and it's evening time and you want a sweet snack. Those are my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some winners for each of these categories. For the breakfast category, I would say it is a tie between outdoor herbivore and wild Zora. Both of these have really solid breakfasts. What I really liked is that none of them were too sweet. You can always make them sweeter if you want. So the serving sizes are about the same, about four to five hundred calories absolutely the perfect amount of breakfast the whole grains keep you full until lunchtime and i would say solid solid breakfast for the snack category i would definitely say of course my red bars and then wild zora snacks takes the cake every time those dried fruits and those meat and veggie bars mm, so good and then of course the lunch category outdoor herbivore takes the cake on that one the pinhoti pinto queso as you saw is our favorite and forever will be i don't think there is a better lunch option out there and for dinner stow away gourmet takes the trophy this is by far the best dinner that i have ever had backpacking or not backpacking honestly i don't know how they do it and they have set the bar so high for dehydrated food that i mean nothing else can compare really i how do you go from eating this gourmet food to some of the like you know, some of the mountain house meals and, and those kinds of meals that are just basically mush. There's no going back. Stowaway Gourmet takes the top trophy on the dinner meals for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will link all of the foods that were mentioned in this video down in the more info box below. If you have any questions for me, comment them below and I will get back to you. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram. That's where you will see pictures from my most recent adventures. And if you want to go hiking and backpacking here in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net and you'll get all that information there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next adventure.